when you think of Pocono, it's a lot like the Bermuda Triangle. A lot of strange and unique things seem to happen here at Pocono. I remember back years ago when Harold Kinder had like antlers with his hands up over his headset trying to tell drivers about deer over by the tunnel turn. Well, Stephen Light came on the radio and told his team, I believe I hit an animal over on the backstretch. And they said, are you sure? He goes, yeah, I think it was a beaver. It went up over the top of the hood. <laughs> right now, they couldn't find any remnants, thankfully. But what they are doing is they noticed the, the grill screen has been pushed in, so they're having to untape that and pull that all out. So at least it's good news for Stephen Light. Maybe not so good news for the beaver. Marty? <laughs> oh, well, Matt, I can confirm. Martin Trex Jr., the man who was behind him when that happened, he said it was a groundhog that flew up into the sky. And he swerved to miss it, scraped the wall just a little bit. So that's what happened to Martin Truex Jr. off of turn two. He said the car very tight. They can't get that out of the car. They've been trying to work the tightness out of this car for Martin Truex Jr., but he confirms it was a groundhog that Stephen Light I, had contact with. Wally, you're on alert, buddy. I'm going with you, Marty. <laughs> exactly. I don't think it was a beaver. I'll go with the groundhog in about 10 minutes. It'll be Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs>